Hi oh guys, how are you all doing? Today's video, two reasons why I think every bricklayer should own one of these. I'm not gonna be able to get that off there now. Cool. Oh, that is a strong magnet. Get on with the video, I suppose. Oh, I've done it again. Okay guys, in typical two minute Tuesday fashion, there will be two minutes on the clock down here somewhere. Most probably not gonna to stick to it, but I hope it's a bit of fun anyway. Right, so let's get going. I like to keep a tape measure in my back pocket pretty much 90% of the time. And what I do, this is called a neodymium magnet. It's a very strong magnet and I like to keep it on my tape measure, like so. Now, reason number one, with that in my back pocket, and for some reason, one second. And for some reason, if you're on a set of bandstands, I'll find this is the specific reason why I like doing it. If you're on a set of bandstands, you've got blocks either side of you, specifically the concrete blocks, the heavy ones. And for some reason, you're getting down, you're working up high, you're putting, getting your muck up. I don't actually have an example to show you. So you're gonna have to imagine there's a wall here and there's muck and board down here. So I'm getting muck up. And then once you get that muck up and you've got your line up and you wanna get your block up there rather than putting that trowel in the muck bending down picking that block up then bending down again picking my trowel up i like to just stick the trowel on the back and then i'll pick the block up put it up there grab it it's just if you're doing that over and over again that will help your back that is reason number one right okay and reason number two why well, i think this is one of the well it saved me a lot of man hours of walking up and down ladders and this is the reason Whoopsie daisy, I appear to have dropped my trowel off the scaffolding. Oh well, what you do, you take the magnet off your little, uh, little belt clip, put it on the knobbly bit. Now, I've got a comment saying that I'm not a bricklayer because I don't know what the end of the tape's called. I call it the knobbly bit. If you know what it's called, please do let me know down in the comments. But I did get a comment a while back saying that I'm not a bricklayer because I don't know what that's called. I don't care what it's called to be perfectly honest with you. It's useful, I don't know what it's called. Anyway. You get that magnet, you put it on the end of your tape measure, and as long as you've got a long enough tape measure, and you're not too far off up in, up in the scaffold, and like 15 stories up, you'll be able to get that trowel back. Observe. So we can see that that trowel is, uh, is quite a way down there. I don't really fancy walking down that ladder. So what you do, as I said, if it's in focus, you've got that magnet on your tape measure, take it off, pop it on the knobbly bit, and there you go, you got a fishing rod. Fishing rod, fishing line. All you do is you just go fishing, really. Bada bing. Now these neodymium magnets are extremely strong. I would advise you do not put them anywhere near your phone because it will wipe them. And there you go. That is how you retrieve your trowel from far away and just drag that drag that magnet off and just pop it back on there jobs are good and right there we go guys that'll do us for another two minute tuesday two reasons why i think every bricklayer should own one of these neodymium magnets i'll leave a link to this magnet down in the description it is an amazon affiliate link so if you do decide to purchase through it i will get a little kickback from amazon but it will cost you absolutely no extra one thing before we go, uh, you can put that on the end of it and uh, retrieve things from the cavity as well. We've all dropped lines and pins in the cavity many a times. And like I did say, don't put it anywhere near your phone. There's a chance it could wipe everything off your phone. I've had a few comments from people asking when the house build is going to start up again. And hopefully if everything goes well, if I can edit the video in time, we will have a video on Friday. We are started back on the house build. So fingers crossed that will be there for Friday. And also got a bit of an announcement to make in that video. Something might be coming. In fact, something is coming. So stick around for that. And uh, yeah, it should be, should be uh, good to hear, hear all your guys' feedback. Anyway, we'll leave it there for today. So please do, do leave a like down below. If you've enjoyed this video, subscribe if you aren't already. Ring that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Remember, Bricks Laid Wages paid. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Take care. See you later. ta -ra. Video. Remember, Bricks Laid Wages paid. And I will see you guys soon. Yeah.
I keep missing everything. Right, let's start again. It is an Amazon affiliate link, so if you do decide to purchase through it, then a little, um, oh, for sake, let's just stop it and start it again. <coughs> is it backwards? Is it forwards? Backwards, I think. Right, in typical Tuesday fashion, I'm going to put two minutes on the clock down here somewhere. I'm probably not going to stick to it, but I'm going to give you two minutes worth, well, no, let's start that again. It's not going to be two minutes worth of tips, it's probably about ten minutes worth of tips. All right, so I, 90% of the time, have a... <laughs> There's two minutes of me, I haven't started anything. I don't even know if that's in shot. If it's not, I'll put a bit of B-roll in. Hello, hello, hello. It's working, yeah. Hopefully I'm in shot there. Right, there we go, guys. Two reasons why I think every bricklayer should own one of these. Neodymium magnets. Of course, hard saying that. Neodymium, neodymium, nim, nim, dim, bim, bim, mim, 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 dim, 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 dim. <laughs> you're an idiot. So there we go, that'll do us for not. Fucking airplanes, these goddamn fucking airplanes making all this fucking noise all the goddamn time. There's no airplane up there. <laughs> I've got a comment saying people are going to miss me screaming at airplanes, so there you go. <laughs> Apparently this mic works quite well, so. Yeah. <laughs> Man, if someone walked past right then and saw me just screwing on the end of a bloody, yeah, I must look like a right nutter, I suppose. I must look like a nutter here. Saying that, if someone walked past and just hear me talking to myself, I must be a nutter anyway. You don't need to be mad to be a bricklayer, but it definitely helps. All right, see you later. <laughs>